We're gonna, you know what? In honor of what Damian Lillard did to the Thunder last week, we're gonna hit a game-winning three here in this Portland arena, bro. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna end this guy's whole career. As of late, guys, there have been a lot of controversy over the topic of foul baiting, foul hunting, trying to get the refs to call it your way, trick them into calling a foul even though you're over-exaggerating, you're overacting, you're selling it very well, bro, as if you're like in the WWE. And because of that topic, that prompted me to do the biggest floppers in NBA history squad. So I went ahead and came up with a squad of 11, and one of them being the card of the day for this biggest floppers in NBA history video. Anyways though guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a few days. Uh, I had some personal business to take care of over the weekend, so I apologize for that. But we're back man, and uh, flopping man, floppers. Whether you like players flopping or not, you, you gotta admit it is part of the game man. Like, uh, in my opinion, I don't mind when players flop, as long as it's not too overboard. But yeah man, let me know in the comments, what's your guys' opinion on flopping? Are you okay with it? Do you think it, it's not a good look on an NBA player to do that kind of stuff? Let me know in the comments man, but nevertheless, I came up with the 10 biggest floppers in NBA history and basically how I came up with a squad I did a little bit of research uh, looked at some lists and then also I took some of the biggest floppers in today's NBA as well before we get started as always guys subscribe if you're new drop a like man let's get 500 I don't know 510 likes on this video that'd be dope as heck bro check out the reaction channel and let's go all right, first player we're going to introduce, guys, is actually someone that was uh, atop the list in a lot of lists that I read. And uh, it's Vlade Divac, former Sacramento King player, man. The ultimate flopper award goes to none other than Vlade, one of the greatest European talents to ever set foot on an NBA court, but arguably the most ridiculous flocker. F flocker? Flopper, I mean, jeez, man, I know how to read. The game has ever seen. Just to put it in perspective, Divac made Marcus Smart look like an honest guy while flopping. Ha 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 as he even fell back down with the offensive player wasn't backing down to try to post him. Come on, Vlade. Speaking of Marcus Smart, he is the next player on the list. We got the Ruby playoff moments Marcus Smart, so that's dope right there. Just a few years into the league, Marcus Smart definitely has to be featured on this list as one of the most insanely hilarious floppers in NBA history, being a regular player in the Shaq in a Fool series. Yep, I remember those, man. Smart is an awesome defender and a very tough physical player, but come on, he's just a terrible actor. In fact, you don't even need to touch him. He crashes into you and then falls to the floor, even when the ball is on the other side of the court. Straight facts, bro. Straight facts. Next player on the list, guys. Guys, uh, yeah, you guys expected this guy to be on here. Probably the, the the best flopper in NBA history. He sells it very well. And that's Manu Ginobili. Ginobili came into the league as the best player in Europe with his endless bag of tricks and a beautiful Euro step. Nonetheless, Ginobili has always been a huge flopper. Yes, he has been, man. I, I watched him growing up. Very, he flopped a lot. Waving his arms back and turning his head back as he's been hit by a truck every time somebody stayed in front of him, either while shooting or attacking the rim. By the way, guys, I will leave the link to this uh, article in the description down below if you guys want to read it yourselves check out the full list because i don't want to like i don't want to take credit for the words that i'm reading okay it's not my words it's not i'm just reading it to y'all oh okay next up on the list guys this guy is one of the best players in nba history and probably the most popular right now it's lebron james guys i mean look he's an elite nba player on and off the court we, we know all that man but look you, you gotta admit even if you're a lebron fan he flops he just flops man you gotta admit it the only reason why lebron isn't higher in our list is because we respect the king way too much but he didn't earn the a flop nickname out of nowhere as he's been constantly seen pretending and whining about alleged fouls. Mm-hmm. The sad part is that refs actually tend to buy LeBron's whining a lot, LeBron's whining a lot, and they always seem to be on his side every time the whistle blows. Hey look man, he's a superstar, he gets superstar calls. That's what it is. Next up guys, uh, someone you probably didn't expect, one of the smartest players in NBA history, it's Danny Ainge, Boston Celtics legend, one of the best basketball minds of all time, was also great at fooling the officials night in and night out, even falling without any single type of contact, but getting the call to go his way anyways. Ainge was completely ridiculous, pretending to get slapped, diving onto the floor like he was snowboarding, or even running like 10 feet just to crash against the backboard and exaggerate contact. He, he's, a, he's a master at flopping, which you, what you gotta say. This one right here, guys, the next player, Anderson Verajao. Oh my god, this guy is hilarious. I also watched him growing up. Dude flops like crazy, bro. He, he over-exaggerates like none other, man. Sometimes he wins, though. Sometimes he gets those calls. Verajao was completely hilarious unless he was on the opposing side of your team as he was one of the most shameless and goofy floppers the game has ever seen. This guy actually dove onto the floor like it was a swimming pool or something, and we just can't get the fact the referees fell for this kind of stuff on a nightly basis. <laughs> Next up on the list, this is actually a player I didn't expect to be on the list, but then looking back on it, 
uh, and how he played. You know what? I gotta agree, man. And that is Paul Pierce being a pesky veteran that's seen it all, constantly got away with flopping on both ends of the floor, especially on offense, where he backed down against the defenders just to fall down and pretend to be shot or something. Uh, you know what, man? I, you, you, I gotta give Paul Pierce a pass here because, because he wasn't exactly an athletic player. He wasn't fast. In fact, he was pretty slow. So uh, you, had to, you had to figure out some ways to get some calls, you know what I mean? Next up, guys, we do have Shane Battier. Okay, Shane Battier, one of the best on-ball defenders the game has ever seen. Playing against the Heat was definitely frustrating because of how good they were, but also because of their constant flopping. Battier was a complete master at taking charges and getting offensive fouls called. He moved between screens, he shoved his arms, and even screamed. Oh, bars. Bars by whoever wrote this article. But most of the time, he got the work done with the referees due to his great ability to fall back on his butt every time he got against anybody. Alright guys, the final two players on this list is actually the two players centered around the topic. It was inspired by these two players, what they did against the Warriors Game 1 in the semifinals of the NBA playoffs this year. And it's uh, Chris Paul and James Harden, man. Look, whether you think those uh, closeouts on Klay Thompson and, and all those Warrior players were fouls or not, you, you, you can't deny that Harden and Chris Paul were definitely exaggerating, bro. Like, they were flailing. Bro, they were, they were, kar they were doing karate in mid-air, bro. They were flailing their legs out like crazy trying to get the refs to call it their way and uh the refs didn't buy it that day man they didn't buy it that day and for that reason they had to be on this uh team especially james harden because james harden has been known for flopping well let's just, let's just admit it bro he's a very good seller and chris paul as well throughout his career so yeah those are the two final players we're gonna have for our nba floppers of all time let's get into the gameplay Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fire card of the day today, man. This card just came out, 98 overall moments pink diamond card. It is indeed Damian Lillard. Now, uh, he's not really known as a flopper, so this might not be a great fit, but he, he was flopping a lot, man. He was flopping a lot. Still had an amazing series, though, and for that reason, he got himself this card after hitting that crazy game-winning buzzer beater against OKC to close them out. Uh, let's see that. Look at this, man. Offensive stats are out of this world. 98-98 layup. Mid-range, 97 seven across the board 98 three-pointer and also I'm pretty sure he has limitless range I'm sure he has deep range deadeye all those crazy badges with James Harden Paul Pierce LeBron Anderson Verjan starting uh, off the bench Shane Batty and Marcus Smart Vlade Divac Ginobili Danny Ainge Chris Paul team is looking solid man uh, hopefully we can bait the refs into calling some fouls our way man yes guys we found ourselves an opponent and look at it it's Damian Lillard man our card of the day that is a nice opponent right there who is it man who is it clean cardi okay I like that I like that username, Clean Cardi. You gonna get this clean work though. <laughs> oh my goodness, you don't want to give Damian Lillard any amount of space, brother. You just don't. That's too much space. I'm sorry, that's too much space. That's too much space. Well, here he goes, man. He's off to a good start. He's off to a very good start. Lillard. Oh, I'm lagging. Hey! Oh, I would have got an open three, bro, but why am I lagging? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, come on. Yeah, look at that defense by me, man. Look at that defense. If that goes in. What? Man, come on, man. Greg Odin? And all of a sudden, I'm lagging now. LeBron gets an open three. He's going to knock that down. Okay. Oh, my God. Man, I, I know I know we're a bunch of flop. Hey, man, don't fight him. I know we're a bunch of floppers, but why the heck? Are we fouling people so hard? Bro, well, we're off to a terrible start already, man. Come on, man. We cannot get off. We can't get off to these terrible starts. And you're giving Harden way too much space, buddy. Way too much space. Bro, oh, get that board, Lillard. Get that board. LeBron is cherry picking. LeBron, great fake by LeBron. Thank you. That goes in, man. Oh my gosh. Here we go again. I cannot stop people from making three pointers, dude. Paul Pierce gets open. If he misses that, oh my gosh, I was gonna say, dude. My bench unit is in. I'm not really excited to use this bench unit, man. I'm really not. I'm not excited to use them. It's not that great. I don't really have anyone that can create their own shot. But if we move the ball like that, then we should be good. Ah, Lee, man, can we please score? Can we please score or something, man? Here goes Danny Ainge. Shane Battier, there's another great pick and roll. There we go. Battier is doing well for us. Look at that rebound, man. We're gonna we're gonna start playing as great defense as I can, man. I'm gonna try my best to play some defense here. Ginobili for three. Green beans it. There we go. Marcus Smart. Vladi Divac, he could hit that mid-range shot. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how? Why did you have to contest it, man? He was already all over him. It's really ridiculous. Be a good screen, Shane Battier. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh no! To Vladi Divac, Divac finished that. Okay, Divac is having a grow! 
Come on, Divac. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say. All right, he's taking some bad shots, man. We gotta take advantage of his cockiness right now. We gotta take advantage of his cockiness. There's Divac for three. Divac is on fire. Let's go. Divac has his takeover more mode. Hit him with a spin. Hit him with a fake. Divac right now is unguardable. Get that cheese out of here. Here goes Lillard, Damian Lillard to Verjao with a great pick and roll. Yup, I can test it that one. I can test it that one. 2K! What do you want me to do? This is ridiculous. It absolutely is. Lillard all the way to the basket. Lillard finishes. Alright guys, we can actually take the lead here or tie it up. We could do this, man. We're playing some great defense lately. Hard into the basket. Yeah, baby. Lillard. Oh, try to get open. Yup. You can't leave Lillard open. You just can't. You just can't. Lillard again. Yes. All the way to the basket. Lillard to Verja. Verja with an easy mid-range. Let's go. Come on, LeBron. Get him. Get him. LeBron, you can't guard that. Oh! Shane Battier to Divac. Divac has had a great game, and he's going to continue, right? He's going to continue. Vlade Divac, another mid-range. Man, Vlade Divac is saving the day right now. If it wasn't for Vlade, I don't know where would be. Still can't defend anybody, by the way. Still can't defend anybody to save my life. Battier, back to Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart, you better hit that. Wow, thank you. Oh my, how'd he get that lob off, yo? 12 seconds later. Yeah, I mean, that's the third lob in a row by him. Are you kidding me right now, dude? Can the computer play actually good defense? Like, is that even possible? I, I, I keep, I, and then now I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I'm choking, I'm choking. Pressing the wrong buttons, can't play defense, it's over. Oh, wow, I gotta stop, wow. Damian Lillard, do your thing, just do your thing, Lillard, please. Thank you. Lillard, bro, oh, Lillard, let's go. I, I just gotta do it, man, and not let him know. I can no way that... You cannot let the boy get a shot off. Yes, play that good defense. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm playing solid defense. I'm playing solid defense. Oh, shoot, he's trying to, he's trying to work me, but I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. There's LeBron. Lillard's wide open in the corner. Hit that baby. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! This game is absolutely ridiculous, guys. I'm sorry, man. This game is really ri Oh my goodness! Yo, yo! <laughs> I don't even care. Now, you know what? Every time I do something crazy like that, I don't even care if I win, bro. That dunk was crazy. Lillard though, Lillard's gonna continue to be hot. Yes, Lillard the beast. Lillard mid-range, he misses. We got an offensive rebound, thank you. Harden, 4-3. Yes! That's not even a three-pointer, okay then. That's his fault, man. Lillard's tired already? How you tired, bro? Seriously? Virgil, I don't know why you're standing over there. I really don't. There's LeBron. LeBron James, just score, just score. All right, we tied it up, guys, we tied it up. Oh, Harden with a steal. Let's go. Here goes Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce to Lillard. Lillard mid-range shot. We got it. We got the lead, baby. Hey, that's your fault for, for going easy on me, man. I'm asking for a screen for LeBron. That's what I'm doing right now. Lillard. Lillard. Oh, yes. Lillard to the basket. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Are you kidding me? Harden with a steal. Oh, we almost got the steal. No. Come on, man. We're gonna, you know what, in honor of what Damian Lillard did to the Thunder last week, we're gonna hit a game-winning three here in this Portland arena, bro. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna end this guy's whole career. There's Lillard right there. Damian Lillard, get open. Lillard, step back three. He did it again! He did it again! He did it again! Damian Lillard is insane! All right, guys, we got the win. A, a great game, man. That was a great game. I know he was kind of taking it easy, but you know what? At the end there, I, I, I outplayed him at the end there. That last minute of the game, 15 threes for me, 14 for him. Here's the stats. Dame Lillard, man, 29.6 assists, living up to that 98 overall pink diamond card. Divac was a great card, 15 for him. And then here's everybody else right there. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, man, the biggest floppers in NBA history, drop a like. And, uh, of course, give me more interesting ideas for me to do in the future. Peace out, y'all. See y'all in the next video.